it's Denver Daly from Desa Paracitos. I'm here at Reverb.com today going over some of my sounds that I get with my various pedals from different awesome companies. I've got this Gibson RD, and I'm gonna go through some different sounds here. First one I get questioned about the most is um, this glitch effect that I do on uh, one of our songs called City on the Hill. So it's just a loop setting on a Boss DD6 pedal, and you know, you can make like a quick but I'm just hitting it super, super fast with one note, so it makes a kind of a glitched out sound, like a So in the context of the song, but it's a simple little trick that I've been doing for a while, and I know a lot of other guitar players do it, but it's really easy just to hit the loop really quick. That makes that sound. So the other sound that I get a lot of questions about is this synth pedal made by Satori Sonics called the Tapeworm, but it's also really comparable to a, a main ace a bad Tina pedal, which you can get. But it's basically just a synth. It cuts off the guitar signal completely. It's got two different oscillators on it. And I manipulate one of them so it kind of creates like a weird dissonance. Then when you add, you know, some distortion and maybe like a earthquake or organizer pedal to it, it sounds really crazy. We actually just figured out like the key that that sound was in and then wrote the song around that. It's kind of a funny reverse engineering. Like I wanted to do that trick so bad that I wrote a song around it basically. <laughs> yeah, that's the sound I make on the choruses of Radicalized. Another favorite is this Bit Commander that I got from Earthquaker Devices. I use it on a bunch of songs actually. There's one, it's a tap part. But my favorite is on um, a song we have called 10 Steps Behind. It's just a really simple loop I'm playing over and over, but it's just. Obviously the band comes in big behind that. So yeah, another favorite sound that I'll use on the verses of uh, one of our songs, 10 Steps Behind, is this delayed, um, kind of crushed up delayed sound that I get with my Red Panda Particle pedal. It's on the random setting, um, the feedback turned up pretty high. You can just kind of hit one note and you can hear what it does with the signal. But when I play my faster part over it, it really just kind of has a, a character of its own. And what I'll often do is I'll take that that same signal from the particle and I'll put it through the red panda context pedal and it creates a little more atmospheric. And sometimes I'll even use that as like a segue between songs. I'll just keep that sound going because it's so cool, atmospheric. It's kind of awesome if you're taking a drink or tuning or doing something. Looks like you're making noise and you're just kind of letting the pedal do its own thing. So those are three tones that I get asked about a lot. If you have questions about any others, please leave a comment in the comment section or hit us up on Twitter. Thanks for having me.